In this video, I'll be murdering 10 cursed LEGO minifigures with natural disasters. Unfortunately, it's a nice, normal, sunny day out. So I'm forced to create all the natural disasters myself. Wow. Man-made natural disasters. I used to live in a flood zone. My house used to flood every single year. It was a nightmare. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's haunted. What goes around comes around. So today, to pay it forward, I will be putting my cursed Lego minifigures through some equally treacherous natural disasters. <laughs> I've done some pretty random stuff in the past, like making fidget toys out of only a Lego brick separator, and trapping stuff in 100 layers of hot wax. Today I plan on outdoing myself. It's gonna be a challenge, but I think I'm up for it. While I'm pushing my cursed Lego minifigures to their limits, keep an eye out for these decapitated Lego heads that are hidden somewhere throughout this video. I went to Target. They have a nice collection of buckets. They were looking very enticing, so I grabbed one. Think this is big enough? No. Not okay. I found a website online that sells, I believe, custom minifigure parts. <laughs> They're particularly cursed, even more so than my usual variety, so of course I had to buy everything. <laughs> it was very painful, but also worth it. And I was excited for them to arrive so I could appreciate their beauty in person. Wow. Speaking of which, they're here right now. I'm going to mix and match all their body parts with some Lego corpses I have laying around. The goal is to make them look as cursed as possible, which happens to be my specialty. These are going to be the victims of today's natural disasters. No, 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 no. This is Tina. And today just so happens to be her birthday. Yes, sir. Her mom, dad, and baby brother are throwing her a sweet 16 birthday party. It's a big deal. Daddy's spending a lot of money on this. Maybe too much money if we're being honest. He even sold the shirt off his back just to be able to afford this party, so please excuse his indecency. He normally dresses more respectfully. He's a banker by trade. And wait, what's this? A tattoo. Apparently he's a mama's boy. How wholesome. But that's enough about the Turners. They live in a quaint little house with a flower garden and a white picket fence. It's a very idealistic life, what everyone thinks their life will turn out like. But then reality hits and the clouds start rolling in. There's a light drizzle overhead. Nothing too crazy. There's still plenty of room for partying, and you know things are about to get crazy at Tina's Sweet 16. Yes, sir. It's not every day that a 41-year-old man turns 16, so obviously she's going all out. She thought she would be partying it up like it's 1989, but what Tina and her family didn't know is that they live in a flood zone. Huh? Okay, not too bad. Luckily, the Flying Dutchman floated in to save the day. It didn't put anyone on board, but the mere presence of it brought the morale up in the aquarium, so that's something. The flooding did put a damper on things, but nothing I can't wipe away. All that matters is that the birthday girl is safe and sound, but not for long. There's a very foreboding forecast for today. Rain, hail, water, earth, fire, air, all of the above, and much more. We might be looking at a whole graveyard of loons by the end of this video. Stay tuned to see who didn't make it. Next on today's list of cursed minifigures, Figures are Mr. and Mrs. Shadow of Bones. Okay, 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 okay. They're part of a local underground black metal book club. None of the minifigure wigs would fit on her giant head, so she decided to embrace her pig head. Alongside being huge fans of black metal, they also happen to be very into acid rain. For this experiment, I'm gonna simulate acid rain. Nice. After searching for some acidic things in my pantry, I found vinegar, lemon juice, and coke, all of which are considered acidic liquids, at least according to Google. So I poured in a little bit of each, some Whoa. vinegar here, a little lemon juice there, and a bit of coke to top it off. I heard you can actually clean Lego with lemon juice. I don't know if that's true or not, but I have to admit, these Lego are starting to look squeaky clean. There's a strange odor emitting from this black metal gang, but I don't mind it. It smells very aromatic. It actually smells pretty good. Uh, vinegar and all that? Yeah, smells good. <laughs> These experiments are mostly for entertainment, but I do want to reach enlightenment today, so I pulled out 100% acetone. This stuff is like acid rain on acid. Say goodbye to Mrs. Shadow of Bones. I'm gonna contain her while her husband watches from the sidelines. I'm giving her a little acetone bath, and I'm gonna let her soak in it for a bit. A few moments later... Come look at this, it looks like... sand. It's like completely disintegrated. She's gone. Dust to dust. Dust to dust. I liked her. She was fun. 
Unfortunately, Mrs. Shadow of Bones didn't make it today. But hey, looks like there's a new bachelor on the market. So ladies, feel free to hit him up. Yes, sir. All right, I'm turning up the heat with this itty bitty little nugget face. He's got a teeny tiny face. He may be lacking in the face department, but he makes up for it where it counts. I have a blow dryer on hand to simulate a heat wave in action. I don't know if this is how heat waves work. It does seem rather windy, but I'm not a geologist, so I'm going with it. I guess that's the last we'll see of Babyface. He lived a short life with a short face. I want more heat and less wind, so I headed over to my trusty, dusty microwave. This is my one and only microwave. My dad got it for me when I moved into here, so if anything happens to this, it's just gonna be a bad day. I use this quite a lot, so if this goes, I go. I've got Mickey and Minnie here, my cursed Disney minifigure duo. They're from the happiest place on earth. <laughs> Maybe a little too happy, so I feel like I need to knock them down a peg or two to my level by roasting these rodents alive. I'm sticking them in the microwave just to experiment and see what happens. This is to simulate a true heat wave since the blow dryer was a slight disappointment. This has the potential to blow up my microwave, but rather anticlimactically, it didn't do much of anything. It just heated up the rats a bit, but no real damage at all. Minnie's hat has like a radioactive bubble on it. I don't think that was there. I did a video where I dipped random things in 100 layers of hot wax. A lot of you guys really loved that video, but there was one complaint. Apparently, it was very important for you to witness me dipping a Lego minifigure in hot wax. I'm sorry I didn't do that in the video. I just didn't want to damage my precious minifigures. They're like my children, so sometimes I get a bit protective. I hope you understand. But since you insisted, I'm gonna make up for that huge oversight by torturing one random minifigure in 100 layers of hot lava. <clears throat> Who's the lucky ducky? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. Chewbacca. <laughs> I paid a couple dollars for Chewbacca. He's one of my prized collectibles, so this is gonna be a little bit difficult for me. I didn't want to do this, but I feel like I'm being peer pressured into it. It's almost like my honor has been questioned, so here you go. This murder sits solely on your conscience. I take no responsibility for this one. <laughs> So here he is, 100 layers of hot lava later. He looks like a pepper. Delicioso! Let's see the damage we've done. Personally, I wouldn't have done this to Chewbacca. I think it's disrespectful. I don't know what lasting effects this will have on him. On the outside, he seems fine. But on the inside, I'm not so sure about his mental state anymore. <laughs> For my next natural disaster, I want to simulate a cyclone. I've got a bucket, and I'm using a spoon to create a very pathetic looking cyclone. I've got Marty the Mechanic on hand to throw in here, but I'm not even gonna bother because that's how unimpressed I feel with this cyclone. I think I could do better. So I got in my car and took a trip to Home Depot. No. Home Depot. I have a drill and I want to make my cyclone come to life with it, but I need a very specific attachment to make things go according to plan. No. 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 Beep beep. No. Yes. Marty looks like he's ready for a swim. I started off slow. I wanted to set the mood and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, I got bored and let loose nature's wrath. This vortex is looking pretty cool. It's nice watching Marty spin around. It's peaceful in a way. I have another bucket, and things are about to get messy. I'm inviting Mother Earth into my apartment. And by that, I mean I'm piling up some dirt. Lots of dirt. More dirt than my landlord will allow me to dig up, but I'm taking it anyway. This'll be our little secret. I'm setting up the Hoover Dam. On one side is my apartment complex. That's right, I live right next to the Hoover Dam today. Make sure you subscribe. And my neighbor is chilling outside. <laughs> Accurate representation. <laughs> if nothing else, I should get points for accuracy for this. On the other side, I'm pouring in buckets upon buckets of water. We're gonna see what it takes to breach this dam and flood my apartment complex, all in hopes of eradicating my neighbor. I'll do whatever it takes to get rid of him. 
It's like slowly moving towards him. Finally. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. To be fair, I feel like there hasn't been enough natural disasters in this video. There's been some interesting occurrences, but I want more suffering, and I know you do too. Plus, I've got some more cursed LEGO minifigures just begging to be obliterated. So I'm gonna do a little speed run of natural disasters, starting with a forest fire. You better watch out if you're gonna be the great